What's going on friends? Today I've got a quick little tutorial that's gonna help some of you out. This was actually requested to me by some of my friends and I wanted to try to help them out the best way that I can. Some of the problems they were having is figuring out how to get their photos from their iPhone over to their computer, more specifically the Mac. So if you aren't using a Mac, this tutorial may not work out that well for you, but I will try to do some Windows kind of work in the future. But basically what you're gonna to wanna to do is use the Photos app that comes free and standard with pretty much any Apple machine and you're just gonna plug your iPhone into that. Now what that's gonna do is give us some options to not only import our photos to the computer pretty quickly and more reliably than AirDrop, especially if you have a ton of photos or videos, as well as clear out your iPhone and delete those photos. So once you get your iPhone plugged in and the app's up and running, you simply wanna click over there where you see the name of your iPhone as the import source. And then up in the top right hand corner, you're gonna see a couple of different things such as import all new photos as well as delete items after import. And that's the two sections we wanna pay attention to. Now you'll notice a couple of my photos are a little grayed out here. They didn't transfer over to the computer very easily well, but once the actual transfer happens, you'll actually see the photos. So don't worry if yours are kind of grayed out like mine are. So what you want to do is make sure you click this dialog box here that says delete items after import. So what that's going to do is actually delete the items from your iPhone after it imports them over to your computer and it's going to clear up a lot of space on your phone. Now what I like to do is hit import all new photos. So basically any photo that may already exist on your Mac, uh, it's, it's not going to import that again. It's not going to create a duplicate. It's only going to bring over new items. And you'll see here that it just imported all 16 of those items. And then here's a previous import I did with all the other photos and videos on my phone of about 213 or so. Now the 213 items did take, you know, about three to five minutes to import because I did have some extended 4K videos and those are larger files. So obviously they take a little bit longer. So just keep in mind that if you do have a ton of photos and videos to be bringing over, it might take a little bit longer to get that over there, but it's gonna be more effective in my opinion than AirDrop and a little bit quicker. Plus you now have this nice album where you can control these photos. You can send them out to social media. You can send them out to your prospective editors like Photoshop or Lightroom and start editing and organizing your photos however you see fit. But if today's video did help you out, a like rating would be greatly appreciated. Also comment below if you know some other methods that work really well for you. But that pretty much sums up today's video. And as always, be sure to create something new today.